Today we're going over Acorns later, the Acorns individual retirement account, and why you might want to consider using it if you haven't already started saving for retirement. Hey, welcome back guys. This is Eric of EverydayInvesting.com and on this channel I'm all about helping the everyday investor like you and I get started saving and investing. So if you're new to here today, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any future investing and personal finance videos. Today we are going over Acorns later. Now I do want to first mention if you are new to the Acorns app, I do have a more full in-depth review on Acorns. I'll be sure to link to that full review up above as well as down below in the description box for my new friends to Acorns. But if you are already an Acorns user and you want to learn about the Acorns Later feature, let's get into that right now. So what exactly is Acorns Later? Now this is a question I get pretty often from a lot of my viewers for my Acorns app videos. Acorns Later is essentially a retirement account offered through your Acorns app. Now how cool is that? What this means is if you're already an Acorns user, you have the option to open up an additional retirement account right through your Acorns app without having to open up a separate uh, retirement account at a separate place. Now how does this work? Well if you go to your home page of your Acorns app you'll see a banner on your home page that says announcing Acorns later. If you click on that that'll take you to where you can get started. It'll show you the tax benefits of opening up a retirement account. It'll also show you that Acorns later they offer age based portfolios that help you give you a customized portfolio based on your age and retirement age projections. Now before you click and get started let's go over the different types of IRAs Acorns later offers. Now IRA stands for Individual Retirement Account and Acorns Later offers three types of these IRAs. They offer a traditional IRA, a Roth IRA, and a SEP IRA. So let's break these down briefly just to give you a rough idea of which might be an ideal type for you. But if you're still not sure you can always click on this Get Started here on the Acorns app and it'll ask you questions on your personal objectives to help uh, decide which is the right type of IRA for you. I just want to go over briefly the three different types offered on Acorns. So the first type of IRA Acorns later offers is the traditional IRA. Now the traditional IRA is by far the most common type of IRA that's been around. A lot of people like this IRA, traditional IRA, for a couple of different reasons. The first major reason is that it really does act as a tax break in the immediate short term. The way this works is that with a traditional IRA you're essentially investing pre-tax dollars and what this means is that with a tr traditional IRA you're not being taxed on the money going in and that money inside your retirement account remains tax free for the duration that's in the retirement account all the way up until you pull it out at retirement age which is past age 59 and a half. Now the great thing about that is like I said this gives you an immediate tax break you're not taxed on any of that money as it grows. It has time to compound and grow over decades potentially without any tax implications. The downside with the traditional IRA guys is that you are then taxed when you withdraw the money down the road after age 59 and after age 59 and a half when you're eligible to start withdrawing that's when you get hit with taxes. So again with the traditional IRA the pros are that it has time to grow tax free for decades potentially but you're then taxed when you withdraw the money down the road and that may be more or less depending on your tax bracket now and your tax bracket when you retire. That's something to consider but that is pretty much the traditional IRA. Now the second type of IRA Acorns later offers is called the Roth IRA. Now this is my personal favorite but again it may not be for everyone. The Roth IRA is different from the traditional IRA in that it doesn't act as a tax break immediately because you're essentially investing post tax dollars and what this means is that the money that you save and invest in your Roth IRA now you're taxed on uh, on your upcoming taxes for this coming year. However once you're taxed on that money and it is inside your Roth IRA it then has the freedom to grow for potentially decades again and when you withdraw it later on after age 59 and a half you don't have to pay any taxes on the withdrawal. So that means you get tax free growth. So with the Roth IRA you have to pay taxes up front on the money you put in but it has all those years to grow tax free and you can withdraw it later on in retirement tax free. That is the Roth IRA. And the final type of IRA Acorns later offers is called the SEP IRA. Now the SEP IRA is just a variation of the traditional IRA. It's not a Roth retirement account. It's a traditional IRA but it's for self-employed persons, SEP. That's what it's for. Now the SEP IRA, the advantages of the SEP IRA is if that is if you're self-employed, the SEP IRA does offer a lot higher yearly contributions that you can save and invest into your SEP IRA as opposed to the traditional IRA or the Roth IRA. So another question you may be wondering with the Acorns later retirement account is is it a savings account? And the answer is no. 
Acorns Later is an investing account. It's just that it's an investing account for your retirement. And the way this works is Acorns builds a portfolio for you based on your current age. Now the retirement age in the US is considered 59 and a half and Acorns uses that as the benchmark as to how aggressive or conservative to recommend your portfolio for your retirement account. And as you age and grow closer to that 59 and a half mark, Acorns will then automatically rebalance your portfolio for you to reflect more conservative investments. Now when you're younger, Acorns will likely recommend a more aggressive portfolio for you to really maximize those years and decades of compounding growth and appreciation of the stock market. But again, like I said, as you age and grow closer to that 59 and a half retirement benchmark, that is when your portfolio will be automatically readjusted and rebalanced by Acorns to a more moderately conservative and then eventually a conservative portfolio to help reflect that. So again, with Acorns, just like their regular investing account with their Acorns Later Retirement Account, they also do all the automatic rebalancing and managing your retirement portfolio for you to really make it a passive and seamless process just the same. Another helpful thing with the Acorns Later Retirement Account is that you can get started saving for retirement with just as little as $5, just the same way as you can with the Acorns Core Investing Account. So who do I recommend the Acorns Later Account for? Now personally, myself, I don't have an Acorns Later Account. As you could see on the homepage of my app, I simply at this time have an Acorns Core Investing Account, a Acorns Spend Checking Account, and I have also the Cashback Earn Found Money Portal. I don't have an Acorns Later Retirement Account at this time, and the only reason is simply because I already have a retirement account through Vanguard that I've had set up for years already and I have that established, so I don't wanna have two retirement accounts. But I would definitely recommend considering the Acorns Later Retirement Account if you don't already have a retirement account set up. Even if you already have a 401k to your workplace, it never hurts to save a little extra for retirement. Again, the earlier you can start saving, the better. The longer your money has to compound, the longer it has to grow and grow your retirement wealth over time. So again, if you already have an IRA at a different institution like Vanguard or somewhere else like I do, then the Acorns Later Retirement Account may not make sense for you. But if you don't already have a retirement account set up at all, you may wanna consider this because this is a pretty sweet option that you can bundle it all together inside with your Acorns Core Investing Account, view it all from one app, one dashboard. So that's who I'd recommend the Acorns Later Account for personally. It's important that young investors and even any age you are to start saving because it's never too early or never too late to start saving for retirement, guys. Really, there are a lot of data and research out there that shows those who retire and have funds to support themselves and their families through retirement are those who started saving early. Even small contributions add up over time when you have decades and decades to have that money compound and grow for you. And again, with Acorns Later, just like the Acorns Core Investing Account, you can make it a passive process because you can set up those recurring contributions and you can invest whether it be on a weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly basis. So again, guys, those are just my opinions on the different types of IRAs offered through Acorns Later and Acorns Later itself. As always, guys, if you found today's video helpful, please give it a like and a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you have any questions on any other features in the Acorns app or any other questions on investing apps at all. As always, guys, I appreciate you being a part of the everyday investing community. And again, if you'd like to see any of my other Acorns app tutorial videos, I do have a full playlist of those other Acorns videos. I'll link those videos up there to the right. Thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll catch you all in the next episode.